Hi, this is Eldridge Fox. My, it's great to have you here tonight for our live recording. Here's our good friend, Dr. Larry Davis, from the First Baptist Church in Cold Springs, Kentucky. Let's join together. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for every day. We thank you for the chances you give us to be with your people, to worship. We pray that tonight would be a worship time. We pray that you'd use the Kingsman, speak to our hearts, bless each and every one of us. Father, if there's one of us that needs to be convicted, one that needs even to be saved, you see that done tonight. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. We're ready tonight, and there's nothing like it. I heard them the first time live in the mid-60s when they did a live two songs at the National Quartet Convention on that record. Then I heard Big and Live, I think it was about 1973 or 4. What a tremendous record that was. And we've been hearing them live ever since. I'm ready to hear them live tonight, aren't you? Let's give them a lively welcome to Orlando, Florida. The Kingsman, make them welcome! Preacher preach and we've heard the teacher teach how Jesus would return again someday. Though the story's old, the half has yet been told. Hey, this could be the day. I said it's old news, but it's good news. Jesus is coming again. I said it's old news, but I'm telling you, Jesus is coming again. Eastern sky. Up till now, I've heard no trumpet sound. That's all right with me. It only helps me see. There's more time for the lost to be found. I said it's old news, but it's good news. Jesus is coming again. I said it's old news, but I'm telling you, Jesus is coming again.
Your life is worth living These days of grief will do I plan to do Jesus Walk in his will I know that I'm not perfect Praise God by his grace I'm saved, hallelujah I'm saved I'm saved, I'm washed in the blood of the Lamb He is the Son of the Great I Am Forgiven, forgotten Those sins are washed away And I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved Thank you so much. We're glad to be here tonight, and uh, I'm going to have each one of the Kingsmen do something that we've never done. I've always done all the talking for the Kingsmen. <laughs> Geraldine, with Geraldine and Ricky, she calls me Moses. She said, when my mouth opens, the bull rushes. So, <laughs> But I'm going to let each and every one of the Kingsmen give a word of testimony and introduce a song. I'll introduce the first gentleman. He's our boss, our buddy. And uh, I've been singing with him 21 years. Uh, would you welcome our boss, CEO, <laughs> Eldridge Fox, ladies and gentlemen. Fox Hat. Thank you. Boy, it's great to be here tonight. I uh, was thinking the other day, it's, it's hard for me to remember back in my teenage years. In fact, when you get old as Hamlin and I are, it's hard to remember back when he was 40. But the one memory that I have that I can remember further is back when I was preschool. I guess I was two or three years old. My daddy was a mountain man, and mountain people were strong people. Didn't believe in crying. I never saw him cry but one time in my life. We had a church up in the mountains called Laurel Valley. Seated maybe 25 people. Ten of them was in the choir. Mama sung alto and could really sing. Daddy was a bass singer, couldn't sing much. But we Daddy... Got one, we got one of them. Yeah, we got one of them, too. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> but my Daddy, I only saw him cry one time. And I, I was... I couldn't have been over three years old, Jim, and I remember it. It's just like yesterday. And that was when this song was written. In the late 1930s, the oldest living human at that time was Granny Solomon. And on her deathbed, they asked her some questions as her family stood by. And this was what she said to her family and to the people there at her bedside. Many years I've traveled on this weary road. Watched the fleeting changes Tried to share some load Now my work is finished Steps are going slow And I've been waiting, Lord, to go I've been waiting, waiting on the shore Travel no more. Shades of evening falling, steps are getting slow. I've been waiting, Lord, to go. My feet are growing weary, my eyes are getting dim. But I've got my Savior. <laughs> I can trust in him. <laughs> Many of my friends are yonder, 
over by the river's flow. And I've been waiting, Lord, to go. I've been waiting, waiting on the shore. Long I've traveled, ain't going to travel no more. Shades of evening falling, steps are getting slow. Come a little closer, Snow White Angel Band. <laughs> While I cross this river <laughs> to that bright land, just open up the portals <laughs> and won't you play just a little slow? <laughs> Cause I've been waiting, oh Lord, I'm waiting to go. Burger. It's good to be back here in Orlando, Florida, having a great time. I started playing the piano at the age of three. Well, when I was eight months old, I was learning how to walk in a walker in my mom and dad's house. 
And one of the wheels got stuck in a floor furnace. And the walker turned over with me in it. Burnt both of my hands. Was carried on a pillow for a year. Had three medicated baths a day for a year. Doctors said I'd never move my hands. I still can't move them. He does. Yeah. So when I was three years old, I came home from church one Sunday. The choir had sung a song that morning that I never forgot. I couldn't wait to get home to try it. After picking my mom and dad up, up off the floor, we started looking for piano teachers. And we finally found one two years later in Chattanooga, Tennessee at the Shotta Conservatory of Music. When I was five, I joined the conservatory. At the age of six, they wanted me to play in a piano recital. I didn't want to, but they made me. And I was scared to death. I stayed at the conservatory about eight years, and they wanted me to play some real music, the classical music. I love it. I do. I hated it. for that. <laughs> Heard a guy on the radio one day and I always wanted to play just like this guy. I saw a guy on TV one night. I always wanted to be like him, but never could. He never saw me, but I saw him.
Then one Sunday night, I was watching the Ed Sullivan show. I laid out a church. I mean, I got to stay home from church. So, so I got on there making millions and millions of dollars. I didn't think he could play a lick. But he had 40 million and said he could. Maybe I ought to try that. You don't see me do it? No. <laughs> By this time, I was 14 years old. And the group that I used to play for when I was 14 sung with the Mighty Kingsman in Cleveland. Hamill came up to me after the concert and said, Pretty good, kid. He said, thank you, sir. He said, if we ever need a piano player, we'll give you a call. I said, oh, boy. <laughs> I never did like the Kingsman. <laughs> so two years later, they called me when I was 16. I went home, my mom and dad. I said, you still got those old 78s downstairs? We had two of them left. Chuck Wagon Gang and the Kingsman. Hammer was on both of them. Oh, so he told me to learn a Kingsman song. So I went, cranked up the Victrola and learned this Kingsman song. <laughs> Got the job. Yes, sir. My name is Ray Reese. I've been singing with the Kingsman for 24 years, and I'm glad to be here tonight. I've stood here with him to my left night after night after night, and uh, he's a blessing to my heart, and I, I feel he is to yours. And like I say, he never ceases to amaze me. I was saved when I was 11 years old. Jesus came in my life. I've fallen short a lot of times, but I'm glad he was an understanding God, a loving God, and a forgiving God. We got a new song uh, that was sent to us uh, by a friend of ours, Larry Gatlin. Wrote it, sent it to the Kings when asked us to do it. And the title of the song is A Healing Stream. In June, two years ago, I was shaving, and I noticed uh, a lump in the side of my face. I didn't pay a lot of attention to it that day, and, and after a couple of more days of shaving, I, I noticed it was there, and it seemed to be getting bigger. So it bothered me, and I went and had it checked. July the 25th, two years ago, I was diagnosed as having a parotid tumor in the side of my face. After much prayer, and the doctor explaining to me about how they were going to do the surgery and everything, he wanted me to seek a second opinion, and I wanted a second opinion, and wanted me to see a specialist. 
I went to Bowman Gray Hospital in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. But in the meantime, between the time he told me this and, and uh, I went, I asked the prayers of the guys in the group, my pastor, and one person that I had most confidence in the world in was my mother, and I went to her. And seemingly the trip from Asheville to Winston-Salem, I knew that everything was going to be all right. But I still had, you know, how we are, our human spirit, we had, I had doubt. But when I got to that specialist, and he got to examine me, he looked me right in the eye, and he was running his hands over my face, and he said, now, where did you say that was? So God's still in the healing business. There's no doubt in my mind here tonight. And I'm so thankful that he's still in the healing business. I'm so thankful that he's a loving God. There's a healing stream that's flowing down from a higher place of My name is Tim Surrett, and I've uh, been with the Kingsman for about three and a half years. Thank you, John. I tell you, to be able to stand before a crowd is truly a thrill, and it always is. I always dreamed when I was a, a little boy and even a teenager of standing before a big crowd of people and playing and singing. And uh, 
just, just to be able to get in front of a big crowd and uh, hear the applause and all that sort of thing. Fans. I, I followed the rock and roll bands around going to concerts in my teenage years. Uh, being one of those fans, and I always dreamed of having something like that. But I want you to know that through a, a wasted life, a life that uh, up until my 16th birthday was a total disaster, I learned the difference since then between fans and friends. I want you to know if you'll put your trust in Jesus tonight, if you'll just follow him in your life, your dreams will come true farther than you can ever imagine. When I, was, when I became a Christian at the age of 16, I gave up at that time. I thought I would never see a dream like that realized because I'd been playing rock and roll music and all that sort of thing before that time. But I want you to know since I gave my life to Him and trusted Him, and even if, if the thing I love most had to be put behind me, then I wanted to serve Him. I want you to know tonight that I, in the last 10 years, there's no telling how many people I've got to stand in front of and play. And it's just like Ray said, there's a difference between a nameless and, and faceless mob following you around and friends that you can pick out. Folks here tonight from Columbia, South Carolina, from Greenville, South Carolina, from all over Florida and all over the United States. I want you to know your dreams can come true tonight. And this song that a young man that's here tonight gave to us says it so much better than I, my feeble efforts. I want you to know that all the good things in my life, all the blessings, all the dreams in my life came true when I began serving Him. Listen to this one. I've been living for Jesus for most of my life. Good times and bad times, lots of laughter and tears. Through each trial and temptation, I've only come to trust Him more. All the good things in my life came. This one thing I always knew All the good things have come from serving you It's not always been easy Sometimes the way's been rough But he's always been beside me and that's always been enough Up each mountain and down each valley I've only learned to trust Him more For every good thing in my life Came from the Lord Lord, you never fail
Amen. Praise the Lord. It's a pleasure to be here with you tonight in Orlando. My name is Parker Jonathan, and uh, I've been with... Uh, thank you very much. I guess I've been with the Kingsman for about two and a half years, and uh, for the last two and a half years, I've been the brunt of every joke I think that they could ever play on anybody. They pick on me about being from the North. They pick on me about being an Indian. I get picked on about my weight, or lack of it, I guess. Just everything. But uh, you folks have accepted me in the last two and a half years, and I want you to know I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate you so much tonight. I really do. To, to know that I, I have come into a group with the stature of the Kingsmen and uh, to come in here and stand in a position that have some of the greatest baritone singers in gospel music have stood. And for you folks to accept me, I really do appreciate that. I grew up on the Tonawanda Indian Reservation near Buffalo, New York, and that's where I found the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. And I'm thankful for that. I grew up in a strong Christian home. Uh, when I think about uh, the time that I spent there on the reservation, my dad is, is uh, one of the strongest Christian men that I know. I, I love him and, and respect him and admire him as a true man of God. And uh, I can turn to him when I need some spiritual guidance. And I'm thankful for that tonight. He had a saying written in the front of his Bible that he always shared every opportunity he could. And he ingrained it in the minds of each of us kids. And it said simply this, I am nobody telling everybody about somebody that can save anybody. And that's, that's the way I feel tonight. Because you see, I don't stand before you as a man that uh, deserves any kind of recognition. I've not done anything in my life to make people sit up and take notice of me. So you see, I'm not anything tonight. But it's by the grace of Jesus Christ that I can stand before you and tell you about that somebody. And his name tonight is the Lord Jesus Christ. And I love him with all of my heart. You know, as I think back on the time when I gave my heart and life to Jesus, the cross is the central figure of our Christian experience. The cross is the instrument of defeat for Satan. The cross is what guarantees our victory over Satan. And I'm thankful for the cross tonight. I didn't realize that when I got saved, but when I, the moment that I gave my heart and life to Jesus Christ, there was a celebration that took place around the throne. There was a party that took place around the throne of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us in Luke chapter 15, he's talking, uh, Jesus is talking to the Pharisees. And he's telling the story, the parable of the lost sheep and the parable of the lost coin. And he tells us in each of those stories that there is great rejoicing around the throne of Jesus over just one repentant sinner. That's all it takes to cause a celebration in heaven. When you gave your heart and life to Jesus, that's all it took. And I love the Lord tonight for all, for all he's done in my life. And I love him. And I trust this song will maybe just light a little spark in your soul. Maybe get you excited about your salvation just a little bit. Think about it. When somebody get, gets saved, walks the aisle in your church and gets saved, ask Jesus to be the Lord of their life. Boy, that's exciting, folks. That's exciting. I wonder sometimes if God doesn't have, you know, there's a smart aleck in every crowd. And I wonder if sometimes God doesn't have one of those smart aleck angels in his band and he just peeked over the edge of glory and looked right down into the pits of hell. When I got saved, and he stuck his finger right in old Satan's face, and he said, Satan, you thought you'd won Parker Jonathan, but tonight the cross is victorious. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, cross yeah, is yeah. victorious tonight. Yeah. I want you to listen to the words of this song that says, go ahead and tell the angels to let the celebration begin, because the cross has won again. Listen.
to hide off of. My name is Gary Shepard. <laughs> I've been with the Kingsman now eight years, and I have learned a lot in eight years. Philippians 4.19 says, My God shall supply all your needs according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I lived on a small farm in Missouri and was raised by parents who my mother was a woman of the Lord, but my father never knew Jesus Christ until he turned 53 years old. And he made our lives as tough as he could possibly make it for that length of time, until I was 25. When I was a young man, I would go in and talk to my mother about stories of what Jesus Christ meant in her life. And she would tell me about David. King David, it was my favorite story because he didn't start out as a king. He started out as a little shepherd boy. Learning to trust the Lord. And I can see as he walked out to face the giant. Bending down and taking the stones out of the water. Putting them into the slingshot and saying, He's all I need. He's all I need. Jesus Christ may not do things the way you think they should be done. He's extended mercy in my life when times I've been so undeserving. But He will always be more than you'll ever need. He's all I need When I just need Someone to talk to He's always there To hear my prayer Each time All my needs He will supply My thirsty soul He'll satisfy He's the Lord of all And He's all I need He comforts me
time again He's my soul's inspiration My heart's consolation He's my everything He's all I all I need when the doctor shakes his head and walks away and said there's nothing else I can do. He's all I need when the bank account's empty. He's all I need when the job's gone. He's all I need when the family's broken up and is on the rocks. He's all I need when that son or that daughter is so rebellious you can't do anything with them and you've been to, to therapy and everything else. He's all I need. When the nation is shaken at the very foundation. He's all I need when it don't seem like anything's going to work out. He's all I need when the storms of life rage round about. I'm glad as a born again Christian. Not just somebody that signed the church card or shook the preacher's hand. But somebody that over 50 years ago said come into my life. I'm glad I can say that. And I'm glad he's all I need. <laughs> Boys you got me wanting to sing. Now, this is a, let's do that thing and let me put that ending on there. Timmy, you're a mighty good singer, but you've got to get a little louder there in spots. <laughs> He's all I need. Here we go. He's all I need. Tell you what, I want to do something right here. Testimony me. Testimony me. Testimony. 